Good afternoon, everybody. It is Thursday, April the 20th, um, and some exciting news. Uh, they dropped off the material for the parking lot, and so that should be started here on Monday. So pray that the weather holds off so that they're able to complete that in a timely manner. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day, and I thank you um, uh, just for your goodness to us, and, and we think of this church and uh, how you've grown it uh, in the last 10 years, and not just with uh, finances and, and the new building project, but just uh, with uh, each, each member uh, spiritually. And I pray that you would continue to grow us to be more like you in Jesus' name. Amen. So today we are continuing in the Psalms, but now we are in Psalm 120. And starting in verse 1, it says, In my distress I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given unto thee, or what shall be done unto thee, thou false tongue? Sharp arrows of the mighty with coals of juniper. Woe is me that I sojourn in Meshech, that I dwell in the tents of Kedar. My soul hath long dwelt with him that hateth peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. So many of us, um, maybe in our life, or maybe now, uh, we're going uh, through... Um, when, when people speak bad about us. And, and this is what it's talking about, uh, a false tongue, a deceitful tongue. Um, and we've all heard the saying, uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Uh, but that actually goes contrary to the word of God. And we can see that in, um, in verse 4. It says, sharp arrows of the mighty with coals of juniper. And, and what this talk is talking about is a false tongue, a deceitful tongue. Um and when, when people speak falsely about us, um, it, it, it hurts us, especially for those who um, you're close to and someone you wouldn't expect to speak falsely about you. Um, but it's like they, they stab you in the back uh, when this happens. And it says it's like sharp arrows of the mighty uh, with coals of juniper. Um, so, it, so it's sharp. It, it burns. It, it, is, it is painful. But I would like to point out the start of this verse. He, he doesn't say, uh, in my distress, I cried un, unto my best friend or I cried unto um, the king or, or whatever the case is. Um, he, he says, in my distress, I cried unto the Lord and he heard me. So this is the, the response we should have uh, when people speak falsely about us and and accuses us or um, uh, speaks about us behind behind our backs. This is how we should respond to this. We should cry unto the Lord. He says, in my distress, I cried unto the Lord, uh, and he heard me. And you can look throughout the Psalms and find um, uh, th this phrase many times, in my distress, I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. And the reason I believe this is mentioned so many times in the book of Psalms is to get us to realize that the Lord hears and answers our prayer. So when you're in distress, when there's people who are speaking falsely about you, uh, who do you turn to? And I pray that you would turn unto the Lord because the Lord hears you and he knows what's, what you're going through. Um, even when friends may speak falsely about you and turn their back on you, the Lord will never turn his back on you. Um, and then he says, uh, in verse 6, he says, My soul hath long dwelt with him that hateth peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. And maybe you're uh, trying to confront someone, and um, you're, you're trying to resolve the, the conflict, but sometimes uh, people just don't want peace. They don't want the problem uh, to be resolved. It, it seems like all they want is trouble. All they want is adversity in, in your life. Uh, but I'm so thankful that we can have uh, peace uh, with the Lord. Um, and he's the only one where you can find true peace, even in the midst of hardship or the midst of people speaking falsely about you. Um, so I pray today that if there's someone who's uh, speaking falsely about you, or maybe you can think of, of in the past, um, I pray that you would turn unto the Lord, because he's the one who will deliver us uh, from this. He's the one who will give us peace uh, through these times. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for your word. 
Um, and I thank you for uh, being a faithful friend and someone who we can turn to and, and lean upon. And I pray that you would help us today to uh, be faithful to you. And uh, if there's any one of us going through distress, maybe there's people who are speaking falsely about us, I pray that you would help us to turn on to you uh, where true peace can be found. And I pray that you would bless this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I pray that you have a great day. Bye.